is uh, up to something fun, I'm sure. Good morning, Bethany. Hey, you're good. You're good. She's got the Hello, good morning. I am with Street Beat, the show, Nick Hughes. Okay, I'm going to trade you spots, let you get back to work. The cool thing about these guys, we've got six members of the show, streetbeattheshow.com. The cool thing, take a look at what they're playing on for musical instruments. We've got trash can lids, water barrels, regular old dishes, pots and pans. And this show is all about the beat and also something called parkour. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in Nick Hughes. Sneak on over here. Nick, this is awesome. This is such an amazing thing that you guys are doing. Tell us a little bit about what it is. What's parkour? Uh, parkour is just kind of the freedom of movement. It's a mixture of martial arts and acrobatics and dance to where they just fly all over the stage. They can do crazy jumps. They can dance. And they just have the freedom to go anywhere that the train will take them. Okay, so let's get out of their way a little bit. I feel like we're standing in their way. Let's sneak over here. And I want to catch a little bit of... Yeah, each show is 25 minutes. We're here the whole run of the fair. Uh, we do three shows on the weekdays at 4, 6, and 8, and on the weekends we do uh, four shows, 2, 4, 6, and 8. You guys, did you hear that? They're performing three to four times daily for about 30 minutes each. You can imagine how many calories these guys are burning because it is intense, and of course, with the fair, the heat, you, you guys are really having to hydrate and eat good nutrition, I guess. Absolutely, absolutely. Got to drink a lot of water. Group is it, people might look at you and see you just kind of like banging on pots and pans, but there is strict musical education behind what you're doing. Absolutely, uh, we all kind of got our start playing on our moms and grandmas' pots and pans, and after going to music school, it's kind of cool that we can come back here and uh, and kind of take it full circle and be back banging on pots and pans again. <laughs> this group is huge. It's not just these six guys. Uh, there's probably about 30 members at any given time. They're based out of LA, so there are more guys down in LA. For we do have, uh, especially some uh, women people, B-girls and uh, breakdancers. So other d divisions of the show include the breakdancing, but what you see our two friends up here doing, oh my gosh, she is on the top of that platform. He's not going to jump off, is he? <laughs> he might. You never <laughs> you, know. You never know. So parkour is all about just kind of using your body, using what's around you, and uh, expressing yourself in that way? Absolutely. Hey, that's, that's, great. that's so cool. What do you guys think of this, Paul? Well, I, it's kind of cool. We've learned a new vocabulary word, and I want to make it clear to everybody. You're, yeah, this, this freestyle movement is called parkour, and if Dan or whoever, it's spray painted on the wall around here somewhere. We can see how it's spelled. It's P-A-R-K-O-U-R. -R. Look around, you'll find it up and to your right, I think. So I'm going I'm to try to remember that for next time I see it. Yeah, exactly. It, it was definitely a new word for me, too. And when Nick had pointed it out here. to me on the wall over here. It's called there parkour it percussion. I'm like, you're going to need to explain that to me. I'm not real familiar with it. I think there is an episode, episode of The Office, though, where Michael Scott is jumping off of buildings, but he might not have been quite as skilled as these guys. I'm impressed parkour with those guys percussion. doing it for half an hour at a time. Thanks, Bethany. Uh, and by the way, you can enter and win a free family four-pack of tickets to California State Fair. It's all part of our Fox40Rewards.com.